Do you remember the most beautiful black twins in the world? Here's the surprising thing that happened to them. The Philadelphia Sun beat down on the twins, Megan and Morgan Boyd, as they chased each other around the playground. They were eight years old and their laughter echoed through the park as they played. Megan, the twin with the bright blue eyes, chased butterflies as Morgan, the twin with a mix of blue and brown eyes, followed her, their dark brown curls bouncing with every step. Their mom, Stephanie Boyd, sat on a nearby bench with her phone in hand as she watched her daughter's carefree energy. Stephanie couldn't help but capture the moment. She took up her phone and snapped a picture of the two, tangled in a giggling mess. She captioned the photo, My beautiful, true blue twins, and added a heart emoji for good measure before posting it on Instagram. Stephanie had a decent following on social media thanks to her work as a plus-size model and body positivity advocate, but nothing could have prepared her for what happened next. Deontay Hunter, a popular musician and tattoo artist, saw the photo. He was instantly struck by the twins' dazzling smiles and the uniqueness of Morgan's eyes. Without hesitation, he reposted the picture on his own massive social media following. He tagged Stephanie and added his own caption, these little queens stole my heart. Hashtag true blue twins. That's when things went wild. Within a day, the photo was everywhere. News outlets shared it, blogs buzzed about it, and random strangers messaged Stephanie, gushing about the true blue twins. Stephanie's own account blew up with new followers, all eager to see more of the adorable duo. One minute, Stephanie was just another mom posting pictures of her kids. The next, they were gaining internet fame. The comments were overwhelmingly positive. People were excited about the twins' beauty, their energy, and their unique features. Megan and Morgan were born in June 2011 in Philadelphia, United States, to parents named Stephanie Boyd and Lavelle Knight. When Stephanie Boyd gave birth to her twins, everyone around her could immediately tell that the girls stood out. One thing that set them apart was that they were black twins with blue eyes, which does not often happen among black people. And of course, Morgan had two different colored eyes, which stood out even more. Before gaining internet fame, the girls were already popular in their community. Their nickname, the True Blue Twins, came from their mother and was commonly used by their family. Additionally, whenever their parents met someone they knew, that person would often ask if they could take pictures with the twins. The twins themselves did not even know they'd gone viral so fast. They were eight years old and were more interested in building sandcastles and chasing butterflies than in internet fame. But Stephanie felt a mix of excitement and apprehension. This unexpected attention could open doors for the girls, but she also worried about the potential downsides of being put into the spotlight at such a young age. As the days turned into weeks, the buzz around the true blue twins didn't fade. Brands started reaching out to Stephanie, offering collaborations and endorsements. Modeling agencies contacted her, eager to sign the twins. As suddenly, Stephanie found herself answering phone call after phone call and email after email. This was a big break from their once quiet life, but through it all, Stephanie kept her family at the center. She sat down with Lavelle, the twins' dad, to discuss the offers. Lavelle was a grounded man and hesitant. He loved his daughters but wasn't comfortable throwing them into the world of celebrities so soon. But Stephanie saw an opportunity that could change their lives for the better. She wanted to give the twins the best possible future, and this unexpected path of fame might be the key. She believed she could manage it all and keep their lives normal while capitalizing on this chance. The decision wasn't easy. There were countless what-ifs and the fear of what could happen. As she sat on a bench that evening, she watched her daughters play. Megan, ever the social butterfly, was chatting with a group of kids, while Morgan sat under her favorite tree, sketching furiously in her notebook. One thing was for sure, Stephanie knew their lives were about to change forever. She just hoped she could guide them through it all and keep them happy and close, no matter what came their way. Things started snowballing fast, and the true blue twins started taking the internet by storm and Stephanie was willing to take the first step. She first became the manager of her daughter's Instagram account, and she watched in disbelief as their follower count climbed past 800,000 on Instagram, and their YouTube channel neared 60,000 subscribers. From their tiny Philadelphia apartment, her daughters were reaching millions around the world. But success wasn't without its complications. 
Balancing schoolwork with photo shoots and interviews proved tricky. Their days were filled with travel, fittings, and endless requests from parents. Stephanie began to find it hard to juggle her role as both manager and mom. On most days, she often felt stretched thin. That's when Veronica Sharp entered the picture. Veronica was everything Stephanie was not. She was sleek and well-polished, and she radiated ambition. She approached Stephanie and Lavelle with promises of a golden future for the twins. She spoke of million-dollar deals, high-profile campaigns, exclusive contracts, and high-end endorsements. In short, it was a future glittering with wealth and fame. Lavelle was the cautious one, and he wasn't fully convinced. He saw the glint of dollar signs in Veronica's eyes and was worried that her focus wouldn't be on the girls' well-being. He didn't want the girls being pushed too hard, too fast. However, Stephanie felt the pressure to give her daughters the best. These opportunities could change their lives for the better and give them a future filled with security and comfort. So the hope for a better tomorrow and Veronica's smooth-talking charm led Stephanie to sign the contract. She signed a contract, handing over her twins' management reins to Veronica. Veronica wasted no time in delivering on her word. She launched the girls straight into the world of celebrity. They went from one high-end fashion campaign to the next, their faces plastered on billboards and magazine covers. They filmed commercials, attended red carpet events, and gave interviews on talk shows. But the pressure was immense. The fan requests flooded their social media pages, while reporters hounded them for quotes and pictures. The girls were now in a world far different from their childhood playground. But soon, the initial excitement started to wear thin, and the constant demands were draining. Media attention turned to relentless scrutiny, and their every outfit and hairstyle was analyzed by fans and critics. Fan requests flooded their inboxes, and their schedules were packed to the brim with commitments. Stephanie was so caught up with the day-to-day -day supervision that she was not quick to see the toll it was taking on her daughters. Megan, the outgoing twin, seemed to thrive on the attention. She loved the clothes, the cameras, and the feeling of being adored. But Morgan, her quieter sister, started to withdraw. Gone was the playful girl who built sandcastles in the park. She became increasingly withdrawn and preferred to spend her time drawing. She missed their old life, including the times they spent just being sisters, not celebrities. She also missed the freedom to play in the park or just hang out with their friends of their age instead of makeup artists all day. Morgan confided in Veronica about her anxieties, but she dismissed them as childish complaints. She told the girls that it was their dream come true and they should not be ungrateful. But the constant pressure to be perfect, to embody the image of the true blue twins, weighed heavily on them. But their mother Stephanie didn't see the cracks forming. Her love for her daughters was genuine, and she saw the positive aspects of their fame. So she rationalized the girls' demanding schedule as a necessary part of their success. She just didn't realize the toll it was taking on Morgan's mental health. One particular incident served as a turning point. The True Blue twins were on the set of an important but demanding photo shoot. The girls had been posing for hours, under harsh lights and constant direction, and they were already exhausted. But Morgan had been pushed to her limit. She couldn't take it anymore and she refused to cooperate. Her mom wasn't there because she'd been called away for an emergency meeting with a fashion brand. However, Veronica was there. She wasn't happy one bit. Instead of offering comfort or understanding, she lashed out at Morgan, accusing her of being selfish and ruining everything. Morgan was overwhelmed and heartbroken, and she simply burst into tears. Megan was caught in the middle. She didn't know what to do. She saw Veronica as the one who had built their success, and she felt the pressure to maintain this newfound life. So this meant she sided with Veronica instead of her sister. For the first time, the relationship between the twins was threatened, all for the sake of fame and fortune. Of course, Veronica did not care about the damage she was causing. The twins were simply commodities to her, just faces to make money and stepping stones to her own success. Their well-being, their happiness didn't factor into her calculations. If only Stephanie knew that the world they had stepped into could tear her family apart. Suddenly, the news broke. The True Blue twins were taking a break, but Megan and Stephanie knew it was not a planned hiatus because Morgan had simply vanished. She was gone. 
In one minute, she was supposed to be attending a charity event with her sister, and the next, she was nowhere to be found. Stephanie was scared out of her mind. She dialed Morgan's phone repeatedly, and each time it was unanswered, it sent a jolt of fear through her. But Veronica saw this tragedy as a publicity stunt. She spun a story and told reporters that Morgan needed time for herself. She was just taking a personal retreat to deal with the pressures of fame. Stephanie was caught off guard by Veronica's callous manipulation and could only watch helplessly. A whole day went by, and Stephanie searched everywhere for Morgan. She looked at airports, hotels, and even random bus stations, but found nothing. Lavelle was out of the country, so he couldn't help much. After a day of searching, Stephanie was rummaging through Morgan's room when she stumbled upon a hidden notebook. It was filled with beautiful sketches, familiar landscapes, scenes from their childhood park, and even a detailed drawing of the swing set where the twins spent countless hours playing. As Stephanie flipped through the pages, she realized something heartbreaking. These weren't just drawings, but a hidden world of creativity Stephanie had never truly seen. This made her realize how deeply unhappy Morgan must have been. Stephanie was sad that she had been so focused on her daughter's future that she hadn't paid more attention to their present. Meanwhile, Veronica's media manipulation backfired. People weren't buying it. The longer Morgan stayed missing, the uglier the story became. Whispers of exploitation and a controlling manager started to circulate online. Then, two days after Morgan's disappearance, a video surfaced online and showed Morgan sitting by the familiar swing set from her notebook. She looked happier. Stephanie watched with tears streaming down her face as her daughter spoke directly to the camera. Morgan revealed the dark side of fame, especially Veronica's manipulative tactics and the immense pressure that had taken a toll on her mental health. She explained how she faked her disappearance with her dad's help to escape the suffocating world Veronica had built around them. She was safe and staying with her grandparents in a quiet town. She did not feel out of place there because her uncle and some of her relatives also had blue eyes. She was rediscovering her passion for art and finally allowing herself to breathe. The video went viral, and this time the focus was on Morgan's courage and honesty. The tide turned against Veronica. Fans showered Morgan with support and praised her courage for speaking out. News outlets exposed Veronica's lies, brands distanced themselves from her, and the industry shunned her. Stephanie was filled with pride for her daughter's strength, and she knew she needed to mend the broken trust with her daughters. First, she immediately contacted a lawyer and terminated their contract with Veronica. The once powerful manager was left with nothing but a ruined reputation. With Morgan safely back in her parents' arms, as Stephanie finally apologized to the kids and Lavelle, she really was sorry for her misplaced trust in Veronica, and Lavelle understood her perfectly. When Stephanie was younger, she too had the opportunity of childhood fame, but it faded out because of poor management. This past experience had clouded her judgment. After the scandal, Megan and Morgan hugged each other. They had both seen the dark side of the fame they'd craved, but through it all, they also realized something far more powerful. They were stronger together, and they needed each other more than ever. Despite the challenges they'd faced, the ordeal had made them stronger. At the time, fame wasn't worth losing their bond with each other. They would continue to navigate their celebrity status together on their own terms with each other's support against any pressures of the spotlight. They would continue social media, sharing their lives with their fans, but this time it would be their story and they would do everything together. As the True Blue twins turned 12 and are entering their teenage years, here's what happened to them. They have resumed their social media presence, and now they're expressing their unique fashion sense, experimenting with makeup, and showcasing their evolving personalities. But even though Stephanie has faced criticism for exposing the girls to the world of modeling at a young age, she emphasizes that Megan and Morgan genuinely enjoy it. And the True Blue twins actually love being photographed and participating in various activities. As social media influencers, the twins have secured sponsorships and collaborations, and they have a very successful modeling career. But life after the scandal wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Megan and Morgan still had to deal with the pressures of the fashion industry. Balancing schoolwork with modeling gigs and social media content creation wasn't easy. 
there were late nights editing videos, early mornings for photo shoots, and endless emails to answer. Sometimes they missed hanging out with friends or catching up on their favorite shows, but they had each other. That was the most important lesson they learned from their ordeal. No matter how crazy things got, they faced it as a team. Megan, the social butterfly, thrived on interacting with fans online, while Megan poured her creativity into her social media posts, her art finding a new audience. Today, Megan and Morgan have continued success as rising social media personalities and fashion models. Despite still being in their early teens, they remain enthusiastic, showing that their journey from internet sensations to teenage influencers is far from over. What a story! Do you think it was wise to expose them to fame at such a young age? What would you have done? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.